Hi, David Martindale. They call me MacGyver, and I'm going to show you how to change the bearings out on a Dirt Devil handheld vacuum. Okay, so today I'm going to work on my little Dirt Devil vacuum. Uh, I think the bearings are froze up. It turns, but very slow. So I'm going to take it apart and see if we can get it fixed. So the first thing we need to do is take the bag off. And we'll take all the screws out. Make note that that screw there is this longer screw. These two screws are a little longer too. A little different than that one. This is a plastic screw and those are uh, sheet metal screws. So we'll go ahead and take the motor apart. Yeah, you got the brushes popping out on me. Have to make sure I get those back in. Okay, so that unscrews. Would have been a whole lot easier to get all the hair off if you unscrewed that first. That bearing is definitely uh, froze up. So, okay, so in order to use the bearing puller, I want to put this on here. And the bearing puller, puller uh, the tongs are too fat to fit under here, so I'm going to have to knock this down a little bit with a hammer and punch. And we'll see if that's enough. Okay, it's loose. Take it off. All right, and I already checked the uh, internet for replacement bearings, and it's uh, an NMB, and the bearing is a 608Z, and you can get like. 10 of these for under $8 including shipping so I just ordered 10 of them because I'm as you can see I've got a couple of these that I'm replacing the bearings on and I actually have one more of these that I use I use these uh, for vacuuming up sheetrock dust and stuff when I'm on jobs after I've cut a hole in the wall uh, these were all used when I got them so that's why the hair is in there So I'll clean these all up and get them ready to reassemble. Okay, so I got my tube of bearings. I've already pulled one out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the bearing onto the 
armature motor and I use a 5 16 quarter inch drive socket just to get it through and it, when I had to beat them off but this shouldn't take that much to get back on once it gets okay once it gets on there we're good because this bearing actually moves and it sits into the uh, plastic of this mold on the side so we got that on there if we put the armature on this the windings And these tabs here will go into the, let's actually use the other piece. They'll actually go in behind where the bushings go, or the brushes, I mean. Okay. So that means we need to turn this around so that that notch will fit into the other housing. slide into those two little slots, that bearing goes into there, get that straight up to go into the other housing. These wires here you want to make sure they go out the back side here, you keep them free of the fan. Then we take our brushes and I don't know which brush goes on which side so when we start this up it'll probably spark a little bit until it wears it in. But you make sure they get the groove on the bottom of the brush facing down. And it just springs into there. You always put the spring in first into the back and just push it in and it snaps into the armature there. And then this half will snap over the top. Then you'll notice there's Two sets of holes. We want to use the inside holes, and we use the dark colored screws. It's a different type of a screw than the uh, plastic screws that go on the outside. If you get those four screws in, we will put this into the housing and this housing has the wire pathway on it so that's the way we'll put this in and we need to put the fan back on and then the retaining piece This fits into there. Oh, before I put that in there, let me show you. There is right there, and right there are two holes, and that's where those two longer screws go. It actually holds the motor in the housing. So that is these two. wires go into those grooves so they don't get pinched when we put our other housing on. Make sure everything is clear. And then the other housing goes back over the top. plastic screws and we make sure we put the belt on that and that fits down inside there
this particular model, this extra piece. Now my other, my other one that I did um, doesn't have that. It's all formed in the plastic, but this older model, the Royal, has this piece that goes on. This fits up over there. Eggs back on yet. Like to thank have you for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to my channel and hope you have a great day.